Hi everyone, um, I just want to show you um, basically some easy ways of, of using the, the new Trinitar sheets. Um, this one, I've used the whole sheet on it. I've made the, the little pile of pyramage things there and made a nice front, but what's special about this card is when you open it up, we've got a lovely pop-up card. And I'm going to show you step by step just how that, that's put together. So when you get the sheets, this is what you'll get. You need to cut all these elements out. All of these elements will make up, you can actually make two cards with them, but if you want to do the, the sample that I've just shown you, we'll use the whole sheet. Now along with that, there's a set of instructions. And this bit here is actually a template. You need to cut this, this part out, lay it over your card, score on the dotted lines as it shows you and it's a 10 centimeter by 12 centimeter piece of card once it's scored we're going to form a, a tube and it actually shows you exactly how to put everything together here so these are the little tubes that we're going to make now i've already cut my 10 centimeter piece out 10 centimeter by 12 centimeter and i've scored which you'll not be able to see on there but i have scored the lines in once the lines are scored, all you do is just fold on the scores, each one crease up, and this will form your little square tube which will form all the mechanism for your card. As you can see, that forms a little square tube. So a little bit of glue, make sure it's a strong glue that you use because obviously this is the main mechanism of, your, of the card and you know people's going to be opening and closing this all the time. So the easiest way I've found of doing it and making sure that everything is square is fold that side, that, you've, that little piece that you've just glued, fold this one up to meet it, like so, so you've got sort of a flat tube. And then once it's glued in place, you can pop that back up. Okay, so I've cut, I've got myself, this, this size card is 14 by 14. Um, the, the main piece, that we're going to use is 13 by 13 centimeters so 14 by 14 is just about right for it okay so first of all we're going to lay the on the it actually goes on the back if you imagine that your card's going to stand up like that this piece is going to fit on the back like so so position it in place make sure you've got a now just a word of warning, where the crease is on your card, you actually need the base, the bottom of this piece, to, to fit right into that crease. Because it's a pop-up, everything needs to line up. So that's going to leave you a bigger gap at the top. But that's fine, because we'll cover that with a little bit border or something like that. So once you're pleased where you've got it, and you, you know it's in place, just pull your tabs away from you double-sided tape and that's it secured in place so that was the easy part the next bit is the tubes so you're going to glue three sides of the tube now that's what's going to one piece is going to glue onto the base of your card one piece is going to this side is going to glue onto that back piece like so and this front piece we're going to glue the next layer in place. You don't glue the top piece. The reason for that is because it has to fold flat both ways when you open and close the card. If you glue that, it's going to start and stick everything down and it won't work. So, a bit of glue on that. And again, use a nice strong glue because, as I said, people are going to be opening and closing this and you can guarantee... You know, people aren't as um, gentle as they should be with our cards, even though we put all our time into them. So, right, I'm going to try and do this this way so you can see it. So the first piece, glue on the bottom, glue on this side piece, and line it up, and I'll get my fingers out of the way, line it up with that bottom crease to make sure it's going to be in place. And it's, you're going to have a little gap at each side. You need that because you don't want it protruding out. 
and that's now glued in place. Now I found quite an easy way to do this just by playing a couple of times. Open that right out and put it flat. We know this piece here has not, because that's the top, so no glue on that piece. The next piece is going to go on there with some glue. So again, some strong glue. Double sided tape works fine with that. Make sure it's a strong one, just so that you, you're not going, to, it's not going to break. So we're now going to line this next piece right to the very base of that. So right at the very bottom here. And we're going to line it at each side of the card so that we know it's going to fit exactly. So, excuse me, I'm just leaning over. I don't know if I'm blocking any light out of there. I'm trying not to. So there we go. You can see, if I hold that flat, you can actually see it's not lining up because it's actually open flat. But the sides are lining up that's what i was worried about and the bottom is right at the bottom when i open that up where it's in the position that it should be you can see it's actually lining up and from the side that's what you see okay so the next box we'll do exactly the same with that nice strong glue And what I tried to do when, when we're producing these sheets is we tried to make them as easy as possible um, for those using them. Um, for, because you know the, you have to cut them out. I like things to be very easy. I don't like I don't do hard. I like things to be very easy. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this piece. And now it's the new one has to stick on this piece that you've just put on, as if that was the crease of your card again, and on the base. So, line it up with the very base of that and make sure you've got a gap at each side and flatten down. Again, your next piece is going to stick on that base piece. Strong glue again. To line that up with this base piece again and with the edge and you can just see that protruding through there but you won't see that when the card is stood up because again there we go all right so we've now got something that looks similar to that at the side. So dead easy from here on in, it's all about decoration. So this actually comes on the top of your, your sorry, on the bottom of your sheet and it's a lovely little sentiment. All I've, all I've done is I've just put a little bit of gold around that, I've, I've mounted onto a piece of gold card, foam pads on the bottom and we can stick that in place. Should have actually pulled these off first so that it was quicker for you. Okay. I'll make sure it's the right way around the way. So just line that up to where you want it. And that's and you can leave it at that, or you can add a little bit extra decoration. I'm going to do that. Just a couple of um, peel off sticky sticky bits and pieces just to, to make it look a little bit more fancy with it being Christmas and I, I would imagine you're going to be sending these to you know your special friends and special family so just try and make it as pretty as possible and again I'll add another one just at the top there just to and I'm going to add across the top here where we've got that little bit extra I'm going to add a little bit to that as well so now it's all about the decoration and that's, that's the fun part, isn't it? Once you, you're home and dry now. 
just to finish off the edges. So we've done the centre of that, we've done, that's the middle of the card, what a lovely surprise when you know somebody opens that card up, you know. Now what I find, just close it, so what I find with a card is pop-up cards are notorious for being very boring on the outside. So we can actually decorate that. And with the bits that was left over, I'm going to, first of all, this one makes up a little stack. And all it is, simple as anything, foam pads on the back, cut each one out, and you, you're lining them up with the image. So I can see that, you know, the, the window is going to line up with the window. Um, the, the little edge of the tree there will line up with that edge of the tree. And we're just going to place that down, making sure it's nicely lined up like so. And we'll do the same with the top piece. So again, line it up with the, this time I'm lined up with the window. Oh, well I thought I was lined it up with the window. There's my first blooper. There we go. So you can see that makes a little hold it straight still for you can you see that yeah and it makes a nice little image there so I've just made up a little a little pattern paper a little bit gold fancy ribbon because we like a bit bling and all I'm going to do is glue that to the outside of the card making sure that it would be the right way up if the card was to stand like so. There's nothing worse than putting anything upside down and I've done that a few times. Okay, so line it up, centralise the, centralise your piece of paper on there. As easy as that. There we go. And we'll add the piece that we've just pyramided up. And you can leave the sides bare or something as simple as a, a little peel off to go down the edge. And what goes on one edge needs to go on the other just so everything's lined up now I think this would actually amaze friends and family when you send this to them because they haven't got one card they've actually got two cards in one so they can either put it on the mantel piece that way, or they can be really special and they can lay it on the mantel piece just like that. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.